Hello and welcome to the awesome awesome CK2 game where we have the immortal cannibal King Hill who's currently 294 years old and I really hope we will like succeed in having his 300 celebration today very very soon and hopefully won't die from some stupid plot or anything like that so um, without further ado Thank you for all the out uh, for, for all the hosting so far. Thank you for everyone in chat and hello Desert Wolf. You're lucky there. Timed it perfectly. So let's see, we have some internal internal wars. Or wait, it's vassals sieging down rebel stacks. We have expanded quite a bit everywhere. And well, we're finally bordering the Mongol Empire. Which I'm a bit worried about, but it should be fine. The Aztec Empire is wait, that was wrong. The Aztec Empire only got 25,000 men, so they're basically done for it. We can take them on, that's the Empire. But the Mongols still have 74,000 people, they have some really good CB, so that is quite different. So we had a lot of shock, uh, talk about, can you actually eat people? Seems like we have a lot of new people in the chat today. So yes, of course we can eat people. We have the cannibal trait, uh, let's see if I can find it m among all the other traits. Let's see, um, here's the immortal trait, for all of those people who don't know it. It's a super long, hard event and you have to be very very lucky to succeed. But yes, you can become immortal, you won't die from sickness or you won't die from uh, age. But you can die from different kinds of uh, plots or fighting in battle. So I'm forcing myself not to fight in battle, I'm forbidden to do so. Um, we still have managed to treat ourselves several times, so we lost our arm, leg and eye. So we got um, scarred for life and we have black borders. Really? I can't see them. Let's see, I can't see them here either on the live stream. If I had a black border, please tell me. Um, yeah, so we lost our arm, leg and eye. And that made us scarred for life, which is a pretty cool achievement. So we even got a parrot. Loyal parrot. Where are you? Here, loyal parrot. Two martial minus one diplomacy. But we also managed to become cannibal here. This character likes people. <laughs> so we gain free martial from it. We lose 10 general opinion by everyone. And plus one personal skill. But you like 10 op minus opinion. That's not a lot. No, it isn't. But what's really a lot is this penalty. Let's see, you scroll down the list and you see Crazy Cannibal, minus 50. So everyone in my court has a minus 50 opinion on me because I'm a crazy cannibal and I eat everyone. Let's see, are we trying to kill him? No, we're not. Um, let's just try to kill him then. Yeah, yeah, yes, making sure that we manage to kill people. Um, since we have lived for so long, where people have started to doubt why are you still living? So they get a minus 40 penalty to because why are you still living? You should die. So yeah, people are trying to kill us. <laughs> War hell, you tried a lot to finally get that written out in the chat. Good. <laughs> Alright, um, seek treatment for illness. No, we don't have to do it anymore. Um, prisoners, we, yeah, we have a couple prisoners. Let's see. If they have a good genetic trait, like they're genius, strong or anything, if we eat them, we can get it. Um, you have nothing good. You have nothing I really want. If they are like replaceable, if I'm cruel and I eat someone with just, they will replace each other because they're like complete opposites. Otherwise, I will just get them. Let's see, strong. I don't think I am strong, actually. No, I'm not strong. Okay. Then we will eat this guy. And all you do is devour. So, as his prisoner, you can do as you please with him. Why not invite him to dinner? A.K.A. be the dinner. And uh, let's do it. Come on. No, we did not get this strong trait. God damn it. You, you, you get an event that is um, unlimited of power, which tells me you got the traits. Let's see. Uh, we probably got some rivals because of it. Because you get rivals if you eat someone eat one of the parents and they might start to plot and I didn't know that in the beginning so I just ate a ton of people and I had like 50 rivals but since I lived for 300 years all of them had died uh, let's see all right let's just begin the game uh, lots of peasants have been moving forward shell stud today your uh, stewardship building new roads oh yeah yeah that's a really good event 
Um, actually, why are we 11 out of 10? Um, or do we have the correct kind of counter right now? Uh, let's see. No, they just enforce that the council should have power, so we will abolish it whenever we can. So in three years, we're gonna abolish their council power. And if they try to revolt again to change another law, we'll just beat them down into the dirt. Let's see. No, you're not gonna get any trades from me. Uh, ooh, Indian CK2, eat the peasant. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would eat again. Oh, right. <laughs> Hello, Katsuren. I mean, Dutch... Oh, good. God, a lot of people are talking. Cool, nice, nice. So, um, let's see. Our current army, why are you standing here? Are you event troops? Yes, yeah, you are special event troops. So you should be moved. Let's see. Let's gather the force. Let's embark the army. And go over to... Where are retinues? Where are they? Seriously? I have 11k of them. Okay, let's see. Armies. Oh, right, you're moving somewhere. But why are you moving somewhere? Let's see. Follow this. What the hell are you doing? No. Go right there. I have no clue what, why they were doing or why I did it last time. Um, so let's just move them back instantly. <laughs> Go into the Mongol Empire for some goddamn reason. Uh, let's see. New Marshal. You like me? Not very much. So let's add you. We have the food taster glitter hoof. <laughs> I love that. It's minus five opinion. But, f well, glitter hoof is glitter hoof. Oh, right, right. We also managed to make glitter hoof immortal. Which is also pretty brilliant. Um, uh, he has tasted some of our blood and that apparently made him immortal. Because we need that eternal friend. Um, let me think denied. Oh yeah, that's just a claim. That's fine. Uh, otherwise in this, no thing, nothing raised. No one is hating me. Well, he's hating me but I'm killing him soon. Otherwise, we are pretty fine with most things. Yes, send... Oh, God. Send him 60 to improve the relationship by so much. That's awesome. And you don't like me because you're not in any form position of power. Let's see. Hmm. How can I do this the best way? Steward. Yeah, you're pretty good as a marshal. So we'll do like this. We'll add the powerful vessel as a marshal, even though he sucks at it. Oh, wait. You're actually nine. Oh, we had another powerful vessel that was mad at me. Oh, that's bad. Okay, then the other powerful vessel will just be mad at me. But you are earning me 40. How cute. Oh, you have received a ton of land from different kind of people. So, I want to improve relationship with you. Yeah, so I'm definitely spending 200 to make him more happy. We propose that someone and one of my daughters marry your child. Yes, let's do it. But let's speed it up a bit. It takes a bit too fast. Uh, we use a favor on count to force them to join their faction. What kind of faction do you have? Independence. Really? But you like me a lot. Will I really send you 400 now when you're forcing independence? No, I'm not gonna do that. Um, we are, though, gonna try to kill you whenever we can. Yes, we will accept that. Because right now, I want an alliance with you. Let's see, form alliance. You do not want that, because you have low opinion of me. Dishonorable. Oh, we lost before. We oh, we betrayed him before. Too bad, too bad. Hello, Matt says. Hello, Gondian. But uh, yeah, this is, was the reason why I didn't want any powerful vessels, but it seems like I gave him a tiny bit too much because I wanted it very easy. And why did you lose half of your nation just now? Or at least it looked like it, you gave away a bunch of stuff. What the hell is happening? You're giving away most of your stuff. Well, I won't actually complain about that. Now, all, all that really ha needs to happen is for you to die. But people's loves really, really likes you. So that would be a bit troublesome. 
Well, we have lots of gold. We can hire mercenary bands if necessary. If not, all of them were busy. <laughs> so we will see exactly what we can do quite soon. And this one was how long before I could switch? 34. So we are played from year 700 to year 1000 right now and that's kind of incredible. Without dying. With the same character, it was the first character that got this trait with. So we have not switched character a single time and that's pretty cool. Let's see, powerful vessel. So you will become it. Yeah. Um, you are leading an army, which I do not like. What you should do is improve relationship with this guy. So the better relationship, well, larger chance that he won't revolt against me. I kind of need to spend his troops somehow. We'll see if we can do anything about that. He needs to die. He needs to lose his power. Maybe we'll eat him when we can. And now someone forced to join that plot again. That's 100. And I lost cancer. Well, that's awesome. Let's see, life is too bad. I lost stress too, which is also kind of good. Now I just need to lose depressed. And everything will be all good. Let's see, uh, spend some money on new supply. For only this will probably allow me to improve some skills. Yes, of course we will spend some money since we're baiting in it currently. Let's see, we are 296. I don't want to miss his 300 birthday. We need to stay certain so he'll become 300 the year... Well, I'm slow now. Um, 1030... 36. Or 37, actually. Um, yes. Switch this goal. But he didn't want to. Too bad. I hope your wife is like eating. <laughs> eating is her solution for everyone. <laughs> Come on. Aren't you being a bit too slow now? Beating down these people. So let's see if I can help them. And we should actually double check if we can't upgrade any of our stuff. Just increasing the men is a really good way of forcing people out of factions. Just increasing numbers. It doesn't have to be good troops, but numbers are really good. And that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Alright, this is a really good place. Where I have tons and tons of different kinds of buildings. And having one guy there training troops will just increase it massively. So we're spending a really large amount of gold there. So you got you should be training troops right in this province. You should be collecting tax in this province too. Or actually you shouldn't because that has trade posts. Never mind, I was stupid there. Uh, let's see, we are prosperous again in most areas. At least a level 2 prosperous. We had the black plate going through everything and just crushing. So yeah, that's horrible. Is this Iron Man mode? Yes it is. If I play save, I can't do anything which which is because, well, it's Iron Man mode. Okay, go and help that guy. Oh wait, you might go in and actually battle. No, um, I can't seem to be attacking that province. Or, let's see. No, I can't besiege it anywhere. So, it's unnecessary that we do this. And uh, let's de-raise the troops now because people are getting mad. Decadent relatives, straighten up. Come on. Good, he straightened up instantly. All right, we were having lots and lots of piety and we we're thinking of another invasion CB. Here, the invasion of Delhi. That would be, well, a ton of provinces actually. And that could be a really good one. Let's see. Can you call in anyone? Uh, nearby Hindu, uh, Hindu rulers may call in. Hmm. That, that's a lot of Hindu rulers. And I'm a bit worried because of that guy who doesn't want to plot and kill me anymore. Nice. Um, he apparently backed off. Which is nice. Uh, thank you for the follow, Ava Avatir. Sorry for starting your name. And uh, thanks for following Floss Lord Never Dies. <laughs> Floss Lords. <laughs> cool name, cool name. Special Mind Italy, Commander of the Eternal One. Okay. Good but bad. We killed him, but someone fi found out. Let's see who is really mad at us right now. Uh, Dishonorable, increased counter power, immortal suspicion. Then that means kill. As soon as someone tries to, well, kill me. Oh, right, wait, wait, look at this. Glitterhoof is trying to help us with the plotting. So as soon as someone tries to suspect that we're immortal, we'll kill him. Wh whoever it is. He needs to die. Um, 34, that's good. Abolish power. Okay, 
it's time to bribe some of our advisors. Um, all I want to do is switch law from empower to abolish because that means the only faction they can do for enforcing council power is to change abolish to empowered and back again. So every time they force me to, like, we're gonna revolt if you don't switch to council power. I'm like, okay, back to empowered. Then I bribe a couple of people in my council so I can instantly turn it back to abolish. And I've been doing that the entire game because, well, I have lots of money and you can do that if you have lots of money. 800 I would like to not spend. 280, uh, maybe that. Uh, 500, god. 300, everyone is saying no. Buy a favor. Yes, 80, definitely, it doesn't matter who else. 500, okay. Let's see, who can I break? 800, that w that's a bit expensive, but I will do it if necessary. You won't. You definitely won't. You won't either. So that's three people. One, two, three, I will be the fourth one. I think that is enough. So I will actually pay 800 to, well, buy a favor. That's that's a lot of money and that's 500. This is probably the most expensive one I ever done. That's those three are now forcing so calling council support. Calling council support and calling council support. Where are you? Wait, why can't I? Oh, you're influencing someone else already. God damn it. For how long? Okay, we, um, this should be going for 3 to 5 months, so we need to wait another 20 months before actually doing this, so we'll see. Um, let's see. Let's see, if, if we bribe him with 100 gold, he will still not like it. Luckily we don't have Daniel and me from QA here then. <laughs> Sounds a bit exploratory, someone should tell someone in QA. Yeah, exactly. It's too bad that both me and another QA from Paradox is here. Well, uh, it's actually known and it's kind of a gameplay way. We could sh change it, but then you'd have no way of influencing vassals and stuff like that. So I think they told it was working as designed. Um, you really don't like me. Hopefully we can kill you soon. Kaboom, that's nice. 297, we need to... Oh God, right, right. You should stop doing this, definitely. Luckily, you weren't the one insulted. It was someone else. Insulted. Ha! Huh. Without the bang. Nice. Then you disappeared. Let's find the next person. Do you suspect me of being mortal? Yes, you do. Then you should die. Auto invite people and then sort by plot power. You will join me if I bribe you a bit. Let's see. Is there anyone else? Really? Alright. Oh, here's one more good. And luckily, these people only want a couple of gold coins. I just need to... I need this law because I get more f uh, more demise dice. Alright, let's see. If someone used a favor, hopefully it was that guy. No, I can't call you in yet. And I can't buy another favor from someone else. No. Conflict in interest. But maybe if I bribe you with 100 gold, we will have the same in interest. No. Worth a try, worth a try. Keep this information for myself. Let's wait a tiny bit. How many months was it? Because we really need to do this above all. Before we do any war, before we do anything crazy stuff. Because if they make a faction force, meanwhile we have the war, it's not gonna end well. Um, a noble spending a week, um, write a formal complaint. All is well. And improve relationship. That's really good. That's really good. Will people like enforce peace? Yes, they will. And let's enforce the peace. And now people are trying to plot and kill me, I think. Apparently not. They ended it instantly when I asked them to. Straighten up, please. I'm gonna save his soul. And he straightened up. Nice. Uh, dangerous factions. No, not really. No dangerous factions at all. Uh, let's see, enforce realm peace. White peace in 35 days. Now it's white peace is enforced. 
Let's see if we can if any interest have changed. You're still you um calling in my support. Good. Two more months. Happiness, five in council. Oh shut up, wife. Calling council support. Come on. Wait, is it still one month? Good. Before anyone can do anything, calling council support. Good. These people are calling in. Let's see. Any plot? Any differences by anyone? Oh, I will. you will actually let me buy anything. Just to be very safe, I will buy one favor from you too. And then calling council support. Fine. Finally. And now we go to laws again. Council. Abolish. And everyone instantly voted for me and it's all good. <sighs> That's awesome. That's really good. And now increased council power will just mean they um, <laughs> council support again, and that's completely fine. I think this one is one I shouldn't actually have, but it was really good, so I decided to keep it anyway. Or was it this one? This one is a bit actually a bit worse. I could give you away to some so to someone. Let's see, should I? If I give you away, then I have at least a foothold over here. This one. It's level 3 in most stuff, and that's actually quite good. I think I will give this one away. No, no, let's actually keep it until until it actually becomes a revolt anywhere again. Uh, yes, fix this. I want to keep at, at least a bunch of gold. Alright, we're 1000 gold. We have, well, a couple of plots that might happen actually. We have counter support, we have overthrow me. Really? You wanna overthrow me? It became a bit difficult. We took a lot of land last time, in the last war. And uh, what happened was that we got a lot of people that became kinda mad against me. And um, yeah, we had to clear up our reputation again. And it seems to be harder this time. Every time we take a lot of lands, we get a lot of mad vassals. And Immortal Suspicion is a pl thing that is really, really bad. That just started coming. And Dishonorable. What is that? Oh, was that just a call to arms? And everyone hates me because of that. And that is why we're having all these troubles. I think I should actually wait until declaring that war before... I will wait until that modifier disappear disappears before we declare a war. So, um... Yeah, but what's really important is it's soon time. It's soon time for his 300th birthday. So I will actually slow it down a tiny bit. Man, should I avoid my explosion and my... Comp <sighs> really? God damn it. Let's see. Dishonorable minus 50. Oh, it's all my failed plots. Okay, I think I will actually stop trying to plot and kill people for a while, because it seems to be really messing up the relationship with a lot of people. So, uh, let's see, my advice then will cost you, no? I have a solution to your problem, let's not try to kill a lot of people. Let's just be very peaceful for a while. 2nd October, mint for gold. Okay, I think it's kind of time to... Bring the balloons. I actually made a couple of balloons for this occasion. It's just 300 years King Hill and it's pretty awesome. So let's just wait. Yes, one more month. I need to have this open. Come on. Come on. Do not die from any plot. If I die from a plot now, this is gonna be incredible. And I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Don't happen, don't happen. Oh. Ah, oh, and see, ah, oh, 300 years, congratulations killing, and see, this is amazing, birthday, but to celebrate this, the real proper way is done by only a single special way, and I ask everyone to lower their head, <laughs> their headphones, because this is gonna boom, with this medieval dagger, I'm gonna pop them, so I recommend lower your hair, <laughs> lower, vol your, lower your volume, and so you don't die. I gave you a couple seconds for it. One, two, three, four, five. 
And the other one, of course, that says 300 years. Perfect. <laughs> Whoops. Well, awesome. Congratulations, Kaden Hill. You became 300 years. And, of course, your birthday cake. Let's see. Do we have a good birthday cake? We have two persons. Let's see. You are insane. That's not good birthday cake. And you have bad traits. I think I'd rather eat you, actually. Uh, let's see. Devour. Congratulations. Here's a birthday cake. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh god, that was beautiful. 300 years. <laughs> and I got diarrhea from her. <laughs> so, okay. People, remember this. If you eat people that are insane, you'll get diarrhea.